this video, we will show you how to install a Baldwin conversion kit for emergency trips. Ensure that you use all the new parts provided. Mixing old and new components will result in premature product failure. The tools needed for this project are a Phillips head screwdriver, flathead screwdriver, pliers, protective eyewear, a tape measure, and the provided Allen wrench. We also recommend spreading cardboard over the floor in order to prevent scratching parts or the floor. First, loosen the set screw using the Allen wrench provided. Remove the knob or lever from the spindle. Next, unscrew the 1 inch round screw cover from its base. Remove the screw securing the interior escutcheon plate. And remove the escutcheon plate. Put the escutcheon plate and screws to the side for reassembly later in the installation. Remove the one upper screw from the inside of the emergency exit cartridge and retract the deadbolt to remove the other screw. Pull the deadbolt cylinder out the other side. Remove the lower screws from the emergency exit cartridge and remove the cartridge. Discard the emergency exit cartridge and the screws. Remove the spindle and the alignment fitting and discard. Supporting the handle set with one hand, unscrew the lower 10 to 32 by 2 and a half inch screw and remove that screw and screw cover back plate. Remove the handle set. Next, remove the screws securing the latch. Remove the latch and discard. Save the screws for the new latch. Remove the 6 32 by 7 16 inch screws that secure the thumb lift cartridge to the handle set and discard the cartridge and the screws. Remove the thumb piece and discard it. Insert the new thumb piece into the handle set. Position the new thumb lift cartridge against the handle set, making sure the lugs on the thumb piece seat into the pockets in the cartridge. Locate the new thumb lift cartridge over the screw posts and secure it with the new 6 32 by 7 16 inch screws provided. The post on the cartridge should be at the top and the face of the cartridge should be flush with the surface of the handle set. Screw the lower post into the threaded hole at the bottom of the thumb lift cartridge and tighten. Your latch is shipped with a 2 and 3 8 inch back set, which is the most common size. To adjust for a 2 and 3 quarter inch back set door only, Grasp body and twist faceplate 180 degrees until it stops. Angled side of bolt should face outside. Insert latch with angled side of bolt facing the door jam. Secure with 8 and 3 quarter inch combination screws from the original latch so the latch is flush with the door. Attach handle by inserting the 10 to 32 by 2 and a half inch screw on inside of the door through screw cover back plate and the lower hole. Leave screw loose for adjustment. Measure the thickness of your door. If door is less than 1 and 3 quarter inch thick, do not use the spacer provided. If your door measures 1 and 3 quarter inches or more, slide the spacer onto the spindle. Install short end of spindle through latch with V-groove on the long end of the spindle angled down and toward hinge until swage on the spindle is against the latch. Install the alignment fitting. Next, make sure deadbolt is fully extended and then slide emergency egress cartridge onto spindle. 
Attach lower cartridge with two 10-32 by one and one quarter inch screws, but do not over tighten the screws at this time. Keeping the tailpiece vertical, insert cylinder tailpiece through outside handle assembly, deadbolt, and emergency exit cartridge. From inside of door, rotate tailpiece to retract the deadbolt and uncover blocked mounting hole at top of cartridge. Attach cylinder with two 10 to 32 by 1 and 7 8 inch screws. Tighten all four screws, making certain assembly is aligned properly. Check operation of tailpiece and spindle. If they do not work, make sure all four screws at the egress cartridge are fully tightened. With turn knob in vertical position, align the slot in back of turn knob with tailpiece and place interior escutcheon plate against door. Fasten with two 6-32 by 7 16th inch oval head screws. Pull the spindle out as far as possible and depress the thumb piece. Slide the knob or lever onto spindle and tighten set screw firmly into V-groove with Allen wrench. Next, tighten the 10-32 by 2.5 inch screw. Attach bottom screw cover. Now you're ready to enjoy your newly converted active escutcheon trim from Baldwin.